All right, guys, so it's official. I got my first trucking job. I'm driving for a company doing box truck. Uh, I'm not gonna say who we're contracted through, uh, but I'm getting ready to do my first night tonight and I'm extremely nervous. So here we go. All right, so we just got our truck. Um, I think it's a temporary truck because uh, the one I was supposed to be using, the transmission went out today, so luckily it wasn't with me. This truck's actually super nice and super new, so I doubt it's gonna be mine. It's all digital and stuff, pretty nice. Uh, but it's cool that they're letting me use it for the night. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get ready to head out here. And uh, I'll keep you guys in tune, man. Keep you up, uh, up to speed. Wish me luck. Right, guys, so I've arrived at where I'm picking up my load. Um, I'm about like, an hour and a half early and they said they're not going to take me yet so i'm going to wait for a while i was hoping to get on the ball and get things going tonight but i found out where i'm delivering to tonight does not open till uh one o'clock and they will not accept me before one o'clock and i will be there at about 11 15 so we're in for lots of talking and lots of wait um so i'm sure i will make this video even longer uh, currently, I kind of have to stay off the phone because we have a new hire that's coming today to be trained, and he just pulled up to my truck, and I didn't realize it was him, and I was like, oh, what the hell does this random guy want? And I told him, like, no, I'm not Chris, who who's the guy who's going to be training him tonight, so he drove off, and here I am just chilling, and the guy's, like, wondering where the hell his trainer is, so, um, Yeah. I'll keep you guys tuned, man. Stay, uh, stay interested and stay liking them vids. trucking boys I haven't been able to film much because I don't have a phone holder yet which for anyone who drives for a living you know you need a phone holder so I've been out here straight up cup holder thugging So for those who might have noticed, the videos ain't matching up. These are two different days worth of videos. It's my first and second day. My first day, I made a couple, three clips or something, and uh, I took a load from Beloit to um, Dixon. It was a short, short, uh, short route from Beloit, Wisconsin to Dixon, Illinois. It was like an hour and 10 minutes to get there. And man, right as soon as I pulled up, I I had two flat tires on my driver's backside. So I must have ran something over like right before I got there basically and then the air let out and I pulled in there. And long story short, since it was my first day, you know, I called my, my boss and stuff. Everybody's like, damn. What the fuck? The new guy, his first day, he hit something to pop some tires. Well, long story short, I'm like, uh, should I dock this still or what? And they're like, yeah, get the load delivered on time, you know? So I, I like, mess up the rim, turning around in the parking lot and uh, docking it. And then, like, the dock has, you know, one of them drop gates or whatever. I, I was off by like two inches so it wouldn't drop so I ended up having to move the truck over again and shit fucking the rim up worse then after I unload the truck which was hard anyways because the truck was leaning to the one side um, the post office told me 
I could sit there for like an hour, but then they had another truck coming. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck? So I called dispatch and they're like, all right, dude. So there's like a Dollar General two blocks from you. I, I want you just to drive it slow down to the Dollar General. Because at this point, we're just like, you know, hopefully the rim's still okay. The two tires are fucked up, though, for sure. And uh, it looked like just like a big slice. Like I ran over a, a piece of metal or something. But I was surprised it did both of them. But uh, long story short, I'm driving it. And this town I was in had the shittiest roads, man. Of course. Bunch of bumps and, and uh, potholes and shit. Some car was following me the whole way there. And I ended up parking it in uh, Dollar General and waiting six hours to get picked up and they were gonna have like some tow company come get it in the morning which at this point was only like three hours away but i'm like yo i'm trying to go home i'm trying to go go to bed so they're like all right cool we'll we'll send somebody who's already passing you anyways like on their route back and we'll have him pick you up on his way home and drop you off you know at your vehicle so i'm like all right cool they fixed that truck. Well, in my head, I'm thinking, man, I probably just lost my job because it's my first night with my own truck and I fucked some shit up. And they had already told me, like, man, there's only three ways to get fired. Uh, no call, no show. Uh, being late to your route or delivering the route. Or getting in an accident or having some shit happen, basically, like fucking up the truck. So I was like, damn, I wonder if this counts, you know? So I go to bed, and I only slept like four hours because right away when I woke up, I'm like, man, I got to check my phone and see if I got a route plan for today because we got like this app we can check and stuff. And uh, I check it, and sure enough, I got another route. This time, it's a big, long haul, man. It was like four hours there, maybe four and a half, and then four back you know plus the loading unloading took at least a half hour at each place so it was about a nine nine and a half hour shift all together a little longer because i had to let the truck warm up when i got there and stuff so and mind you okay that's that's 10 hours right there i had to uh drive an hour there and an hour back because i live quite a ways away Anyways, so as you've seen on the videos, you know, I was driving through the snow. I think I didn't even hit record a couple times. I need to get a phone mount really, really bad because I don't even have a phone mount yet. I'll be honest with you. I'm broke as hell, y'all. And my first paycheck is only going to have one day on it because of like the day I started was weird or something. But uh, yeah, so I'm about to get a hundred dollar check or something to try to make it gas for two weeks. And I don't even think that's going to work. But long story short, that next check should be balling. So anyway, so I had a, a long ass haul tonight, different truck. The truck like topped out at 65, so I was going slow as hell the whole way there and back. And the dock there, man, y'all should have seen it. Sometimes I want to like videotape this stuff, but I'm like, man, uh, I, I don't want to get in trouble like filming post offices and shit. But long story short, this dock was super narrow and it had rails like on the side and you could see it was all banged up like everybody been backing into this shit fucking up when they back in there and stuff and i i aced it man i felt pretty good for my second day it was a little bit of redemption from yesterday i guess uh got it all delivered and everything good but then on the way back so on the way down i took a bunch of major highways it was no biggie well, on the way back, I guess, you know, because, like, I was going south the first time when I was going north on the way back home, the highway was, like, shut down, and they had a detour. Well, the detour and my GPS was doing all this crazy shit. Like, my GPS telling me hit a U-turn, and the detour is telling me uh, to go way the fuck out my way and drive through some city. So I'm like, man, fuck this. I know what I'm doing. And I just tried to head north, and... uh Man, I got stuck going through every tiny little town on the way up. I think my trip ended up being an hour longer than it was supposed to be. But I got back, man. Got back in one piece. I'm tired as fuck. I've been up uh, about 
22 hours so far. And I only slept four hours last night, so I'm beat, man. It's get, it's hard to get used to the schedule. And then I got to work again tonight. It's like seven days a week. Uh, tonight, I don't even remember where I'm going, but it's like uh, I got to pick up at 2.30 in the morning and deliver by like 6 a.m. or something. So it's another like four-hour drive, and I'll be back home by like 10, 11 in the morning, which is wild. But I tell you what, I need to get a better app for GPS on my phone because the regular car GPS don't understand, like, semis can't go under certain bridges, you know, this and that. So uh, I think it's called, like, Trucker Path or something. Somebody was telling me about this GPS for trucks on your phone that ain't too bad. It understands, like, the clearance, you know, needed and shit. But anyways, that's where I'm at. I'm about to go home and go to bed, y'all. So hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's probably just a bunch of random shitty ass clips, but there's more to come. And uh, I'm going to get like a good phone holder. I'll probably buy a second phone, honestly, so I can film on one and use the other for like GPS and business calls and shit. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to like the video. That was my first half second day uh, driving 26 foot box truck. Um contracted for a company so it's tough man you know i watched a bunch of videos before i started and everybody's like oh man it's a piece of cake man you just go there you load up man you go drop it off that's it it's gravy you getting paid per route you doing this and that a lot of times the routes are short well the problem with problem is me being a new guy all the guys who've been working there a while get all the good routes me you see what they're doing to me four or five hour routes there and back that's like nine, ten hours on one route, and I'm getting paid the same as somebody doing like a two-hour trip, basically. So it don't even make fucking sense, but they got me busting my ass. Oh, speaking of busting my ass, I fell out of the truck yesterday. Man, this dude, he came and picked me up in a, a truck the same size as mine when I got that flat tire. And I go to st step out that bitch and fucking miss the step and boom, dropped probably like eight feet from the air. Good thing I ain't break shit, man. I'm all bruised up and banged up mentally, man. But we just trying to get this paper, dog. 26-foot box truck life. They call me box truck Bobby. You know, about to get that rest. Peace.